This video is for all my fellow service industry people, all my gig drivers, and all the clowns out there. Keep watching. If you're easily offended, pause the video. Vacation vlog day two. Now today I got a I got a, I got a different kind of message. I'm not going to show you all things we've done. I don't I don't have my phone out filming all these things because I'm trying to enjoy them. But I do have a little bit of pause, a little bit of break in my day, and I want to talk about something that I've noticed today. A reminder for me, and you guys think on it and let me know what you think. This video will not be for all. Not everybody will agree with it. Not everybody will get it. Not everybody will understand. But that's okay. The ones that will. That's what I'm making this video for. So today I'm going to talk about some of my experiences, what I've seen, but I'm going to talk about why no tip, no trip is a mindset. And I'm going to share with you guys why and what I've seen on this cruise that lets me know we should be valuing ourselves and we should never deliver or deal with miserable clown human beings. Let's talk about it. But before we get into that, I want to talk about something that I think is kind of funny. Anybody that's been on a cruise or been on an all-inclusive resort or whatever, just a casino. I've noticed some things about people that come to these places. Number one, you're going to have a lot of people that just want to have a good time. You're unwinding. You spend a lot of time and money and energy to save up for a trip like this. And you want to have fun. That's number one. Number two, you tend to have a lot of entitled people. A lot of like super needy people and super entitled. They think that the space in the world revolves around them and they don't want to wait on anything or anybody it's kind of funny and i've never seen as many mobility scooters in my life it's kind of funny i don't know it's just kind of i've never seen so many in one particular space it's kind of weird i don't know if you guys can relate but they're like kind of all over the place and they just scoot their way on by and don't care about anybody else's space i think it's kind of cute and another thing that's interesting, and I, I knew this already because I do the same thing, but a lot of people do. When you're on vacation, you do two things. You eat and you wait. And I guess the third thing, you drink if you drink. You're waiting to eat, you're waiting to drink, and you're eating. It's all about eating, 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 and then trying to maybe go to a show or do something like that. You're, while you're eating your breakfast, you're thinking about lunch. While you're eating your lunch, you're thinking about dinner while you're eating dinner you're thinking about oh what late night snack can we have is there a little cake place everybody is a glutton when you're on a cruise ship and you're on vacation we like to eat that's what we do that's what that's the world's famous pastime especially americans i think it's funny i have to sometimes pause and i'll look at the people i'm with and be like are we really this fat and the answer is yes let's get into today's video so now that we got that out the way i want to talk to you guys about why no tip no trip it's going to live strong in 2023. I'm not going to be as negative with it. I'm just going to give you facts, experience, and, and, and tell you why we should be living that motto and why anybody else thinks different and why I think that they are a clown. You know what? We'll just sit at this poker table. It's not open yet. Let's talk. So no tip, no trip. Listen, this is why I see a lot of really hardworking individuals working their butts off, whether it was yesterday on the little boat we got on, I tipped those guys generously because they worked really hard. They took excellent care of us. Every single person here, excellent care of us, whether it's the steward cleaning our ship, the housekeepers, the, the staff, every single person, extreme care, extreme, just like the, the customer service is top notch. If you haven't experienced a place like this or been on an all-inclusive resort, you don't know what customer service is. I'm sorry, you do not. When you come and you do things like this, you understand how easy we have it as DoorDash drivers sometimes, right? And we expect certain tips and things, you know, and we should, if you're a good driver, you should deserve that, right? But a lot of these people work in these kind of, these trips, like the, 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 the gratuity is included, but like you should give a little extra because these guys are working hard giving you good care now how do we relate that to the gig economy and doordash well it's very easy what do you value your time as do you want to deliver to somebody that is either one ignorant and listen i've seen plenty of ignorant people on this ship two they're downright rude they don't respect you they belittle you they think you are below them if you want to do business with somebody like that then you're just a clown point blank period so either they're ignorant they actually dis discredit you so much that they, they can't even, they don't even think that you're a human being 
or three, they know you work on tips and don't even care. Like they don't care because they're so entitled and so cheap and live such a clown lifestyle. They can't throw you a couple bucks because they're so miserable. I said it, I said it, and I'll continue to say it. Somebody that is giving you, offering you, providing you a service that you can most of the time do yourself. I do not need to be here. If I am going to rent a boat, ask for somebody a cocktail when I can actually go to the bar and get it myself. If I am asking somebody to service me, you take care of that human being. And if you do not, you are miserable. Meet me in the comments. You don't have generosity for your fellow human being and the work that they're doing. It's either that true, that's true, or you're ignorant and you don't know, which, hey, somebody will teach you and maybe you get better, or you are so entitled that you don't understand how the world works and you are in a bubble and that's what's wrong with a lot of things that are around us is because of people like that or people like you. So why am I making this video? Why am I talking about this? Because I show you my day. I show you and talk about my experiences and my experiences. I am feeling very grateful, very humble. And I feel like when people are taking care of me, it's a good feeling. And I try to reciprocate that back to them in a monetary way because I understand that's how they take care of their family and that's how they can have a better day. It's an extremely simple concept. So if you are out there as a DoorDash driver and you, you know, at this point you've watched this channel and many other great channels, better channels, and you see these two, three dollar orders, don't take them. And if you see me do it, it's because of, for science, it's because I wanna show you guys the reality of things out there, but know your worth. Also, it allows us to apply, apply pressure to the actual companies because the more drivers that take the crap orders, the more customers that get their food for cheap, right? It, it doesn't allow for the future generations of drivers to continue to make money in this space. And if you think that a customer that tips or doesn't tip gets treated the same, you don't know the service industry. I am out in a place with 5,800 individuals and some people will tip some people won't it's part of the business these guys are taken care of i get it okay but if you don't think me sitting in this chair as somebody that will take care of somebody that's taking care of me will get better service you don't know customer service you don't know the industry and you are a clown take care of the people that are taking care of you and as a door dash driver as an uber eats driver grubhub instacart stay selective when you can you know we have to adapt we have to understand how to continue to move to make our money. But when you can, deal with human beings that respect you. You will have a better day when you do that. And anybody that's going to be praying and hoping and I hope I get a tip, I'm going to cross my fingers and do uh, somersaults in the driveway and I'm going to sing and dance and do a little ditty for them, you're wasting your time. Because on this channel, we understand our worth. We give good customer service and we treat the customers that take care of us with respect. But it's gonna be really hard for you to make money if you're trying to sing and dance your way for a dollar or two tip with somebody that doesn't respect you in the beginning or is ignorant or is just downright entitled. So in 2023, while we will be positive here, we have to adapt, we have to understand like how to make money, how to move, how to navigate, the apps are changing. We gotta do those things. But ultimately, stay selective when you can make your money, deal with human beings that respect you. In the long run, you're going to be better served if you do that. Because right now we are in a time of abundance for some people. I have more than I need. You probably have more than you need. So let's show a little gratitude to the people that are providing us with the things and the services that we probably don't need, but we want and that we appreciate. We need to be appreciative to the service workers, the delivery drivers, the Uber drivers, the people taking care of us. You, as a respectable human being, should take care of the people along the way. And if you don't, you are a clown individual. And I don't care what anybody says, you are a clown. And if that hurts, if that hits you a certain way, that's because you feel guilty. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm speaking my truth, but if you feel some type of way about it, it's because you're an individual that goes out and doesn't respect people around you and the, the truth hurts. So in closing, take care of the people that take care of you. It's a very simple concept. 
If you like this video or others, check out this one here. Consider hitting subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments.